Andrew from prepnutrition.ca. He's six weeks out. Usually this is when it gets get really hard, but this is where you get the, the most information. And uh, we're at Gym Victory on a Thursday, Thursday, the day of the God of Thunder. It's noon and it's time to uh, do a little back because I just uh, did the Super League. I'm not gonna do too much crazy stuff. I'm just gonna go for the pump because I, I told myself I want to do that for a little while to let my body recover. Because my chest for the, for the five plates, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, see here, it's kind of blue. That's not good. <laughs> so uh, I need to take it easy. So we're gonna do a uh, first machine here, no cable. So I'm just gonna show you guys some clips of the different things we did and some posing and. After that, I'll do a show and air or something. Let's go. Tricep. It's uh, double shrugs, rear uh, delt hangers, and hyperextension. Because we did too much the rest of the back during the, the workout. So we're going to do this top part, rear delt, and we'll go back in one. Well, I said in the uh, just now, no, I, don't, I don't remember because I filmed the rest of the video that you saw in the gym last Thursday and we're Monday because I had to do the expo this weekend. Anyway, I wanted to do some kind of Q&A but not frequently asked questions, like, you know like the fact people they put on their websites and things like that. I want to do the opposite, the least frequently asked questions. So questions are not usually asked to me or something like that and I... I didn't choose them myself, my girlfriend Tracy did. So, she may begin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one's from Philip L87. What do you think? How many highly aggressive six year old kids would you manage in a fight before you get your ass kicked? What's the maximum you could handle at once? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 30? 30, 30 kids? 30 aggressive six-year-olds. 
Yeah, but I, I, once I knock one out, there's 29 left. No, his stand, it doesn't take... Like, the minute they're aggressive, they're still like 60 pounds. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite video game of all time? Maybe even a top three. This is from Christina... Kev Christina... Um, K oh, Christian K. Vamsdal. Christian K. Vamsdal. Um, okay, let's... Do, okay, okay, okay. Maybe just the top one. Yeah, the no, top, top three. I'll do top three. I, Contra 3, The Alien Wars on Super Nintendo. Uh, that's for uh, like a, uh, like a side scroll shooter. I really like Duke Nukem 3D on the PC. And um, as far as a more recent game, I guess, I liked uh, Gears of War series. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but it, nothing beats Contra, and I also like Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Nintendo, and you no know, old games like that. Because it seems like when I was younger, the games were more were more fun, and it's I, th I think it's just like that. I think the, the young people of today they will say, "Oh, Halo was such a cool game, better than whatever the fuck game it will be in the future." It's probably because they were younger when they were playing it. It's like nostalgia a little bit. More magical. More magical. Magic. Next. Speaking of magic. Bengal fan three four two two wants to know how many times do you fart on a daily basis? How's that magic? It's just <laughs> it's just basic like human <laughs> biology. I was just trying to segue. <laughs> okay, uh, I cannot recall. I don't count the farts, but I try to hold them in when there's people around, unlike some people. No, no, I mean like I like some people in general, because I have friends that just like. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe when I'm more around girls, I, t I tend to keep them in. That's very gentlemanly of you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Darum89... Oh, sorry. No, never mind. <laughs> Darum89 wants to know, do you like Arab foods? Shawarma, falafel, etc.? Is Bustan like Arab food? It is, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I like it. Like my girlfriend really likes the Bustan in Montreal. She likes it, but I guess I like it. Uh, falafel is like little balls of rice, right? Is no, they're ball? like chickpea flour. Oh, uh. that's good too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Next. Oleg Trofimov96 wants to know, do you have a girlfriend? If so, does she help you on your bodybuilding way and how does she do it? Yes, I have one. Her name is Tracy. She's holding oh, the okay. camera. <laughs> and she helps me uh, clean dishes and film me <laughs> for my bodybuilding journey. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. No, no problem. Yeah, she does other things too, but I'm not going to mention them. <laughs> okay, next. Stress relief. <laughs> Trill Ruggio wants to know what's your favorite Rick and Morty episode? Uh, the one where he's a pickle! Oh, I'm Rick. a pickle, Rick! <laughs> the one where he's like a cyborg pickle rat fucking thing and he kills everybody everything it's a pretty good episode in season 3 I really like it um Ch Child Day 13 wants to know where did you get that accent from and how can my fiance get one it's <laughs> funny uh I got it from my mama got it from Ms. no actually she doesn't have an accent but um it's cause I'm a French Canadian guy I don't know so maybe you're the fiance could move to Montreal for years and years, and then you could restart dating him and see if he has an accent. Or you can tell him like to mock, mock mine, because a lot of people do. <laughs> not, not very good imitations, though. I must say, but some of them try and often imitated, never duplicated. Damn straight. Okay. What's yes. your favorite? Oh, Wolf, Wolf Mac one wants to know what's your favorite home cooked meal made by your mother. Hmm. Aww. Hmm. All the meals are good. Um, she makes a stew sometimes really good with the beef. And um, she used to make really good... Uh, what's pudding, what's pudding shomar in, in freaking uh, English? You know when, when you put like a, the cake and then you put the sugar on the top then it goes like it melts through and then sits at the bottom when it's cooked? What's the name of that? Um. It's pudding shomar in French. Pudding shomar. Unemployed, unemployed pudding. 
<laughs> I don't know what it is in French, but that's pretty good too. And yeah, so yeah, I think she always makes good food. But um, I think that the stew that she does sometimes is really good. Yeah. Next. Next. Jennifer underscore Rowe wants to know why do body why do bodybuilders always wear those high top weightlifting shoes even when they're not lifting? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because uh, they're pretty comfortable and they're flat sole and um, I guess we think they're stylish but I guess not by your by your confusion <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah I think it's because um, it's pretty comfortable because we it's pretty comfortable it's like slippers because uh, they're made of tissue so it's like you wear, you're wearing slippers all the time so it's, uh, maybe that's why but why am I wearing them I guess because uh, I, th I think they'll, they'll look all right <laughs> I will, I'm taking this to myself now because of you, Jennifer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next. Um, Mind is Power wants to know, what's up Antoine? What keeps you motivated, man? Day in, day out, every single damn day. What keeps you going and pushing? My heart, I guess. Because it beats and if it would stop beating, I will die. So yeah, as long as it's beating, I'm alive and I'll be able to do the things I do. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, here's one. Okay, Matt Edwards wants to know what have what have you kept strong mentally after your hard time with addiction? Um, I think it's a uh, now I really really know it. Is if I have, I have like a, a spiritual practice I do uh, every day. It's like things I gotta do to uh, train my spiritual and train my recovery. Because if I don't do it, I will get weak and fail. Trust me. So. How do I stay like um, you know on point with all that is by working hard, by doing a thing, by, by training it. That's how that's how I do it. It's like it's like the gym. How do you stay big? By keep showing up to the gym. How do you do? I, how do I stay in recovery? If I just train it, if I just train my recovery. So there's certain things that I do every day for that. And Hall Hannah Alexander, twelve wants to know. What would you do for a Klondike bar? A Klondike bar? A Klondike bar. Is that the ice cream bar? Yeah. Uh, so far, I, I did nothing for one, ever. <laughs> it was a commercial. It was like... I know, I know oh, that. Okay. I think I know so what would you do for a Klondike bar? What would you do? So what, what do people Klondike do usually bar. for that? I don't know. Like, the, what do they do usually? Maybe we can compare? Like, I don't want it. I don't want one that much. What would I would do? I would probably like buy one with like money. <laughs> but will I will I sell my soul to the devil for one? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of souls, workout ghoul wants to know what do you think about Buddhism, and what about environmentalism? Uh, environmentalism, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but Buddhism I know, and uh, there's some nice principles regarding that. And um, there's this book, it's funny because I just said to my girlfriend, like, oh, you should read this book, it's pretty good. It's my mom gave it to me. It's called uh, Buddhist Boot Camp. And it's actually uh, some Timber Hawkeye wrote that. And he has this Facebook page called Buddhist Boot Camp. And it's like, a, uh, he studied a lot, you know, and changed life around and stuff. And there's a lot of, lots of nice, like, um, principles behind Buddhism that everybody should uh, follow. So I think it's good. Buddhism is good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think overall it's a lot better than... Because it's like not even a religion, pretty much. But if you put it in that class, I think it's the best one of them all. But spirituality, like... You should get inspired by other people's spiritual stories or tales. But you should not follow them to the letter. You should discover your own. That's the cool thing about spirituality. Everyone should have their own freaking version of their own religion. Are you zooming on my face? I said, yeah. I know. <laughs> okay, so next. Can't help it, I like your face. Yeah. If MF Shale wants to know if you could be a pair of pants, briefs, underwear for the day, whose underwear would you be? My girlfriend's. Hey. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't like anything that's too unknown and I've been there, so I know it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Um, okay, Char 
charfredmonk93 says, My nose is large like yours. Have you ever tried eating your girl's lady part out 69 style and putting your nose in her vagina? Trust me, they love it. You should try it if you haven't. And, and blow bubbles in her vagina with your nose as she gets super wet. Hmm. What's this guy's name again? Ch Charfred, Charfred Monk 93. Charfred Monk? What kind of monk is that? Jeez, that's the Buddhism that he does. You know, sh shades of Buddha. Shades of monk. Jeez, he's on the darker shades. But um, you know what? There's not a lot of things that I didn't try in life <clears throat> regarding <clears throat> that sub subject. Sex. So I never tried that. It's very, it's very rare I didn't try something. So I guess it's on tonight. <coughs> so warm. So warm. If you got so big that you couldn't wipe your own butt and had to have someone do it for you, no towel method, which one of your current friends would it be? Like male friends? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it could be oh. female friends. Well, this is, I guess a girlfriend doesn't count, huh? No. no. Um, ooh, oh boy. <laughs> I have to think this. It's a good question. I like this question. Who would wipe my ass with their hands, I guess? Huh? Pretty much it. Yeah. All my friends. Who, who would I ask? Who would you ask and who would be the most likely to do it? Hmm. Interesting. Would Cobb do it? That's a good question. I guess, you know what, I think, I think all my friends would do it. If I really had to. I mean, if it's like a life or death situation, they probably would too. But if they're just like showing up at my place and they know I, I, I never wipe my own ass because I'm too big and they'll probably be like, no, what, what, no, not, I'm not going to wipe your ass. But it's for a one-time deal in my life and it's like it has to... It's gonna be like either life or death or something like that. I think they would all do it. But if, if, if it's like if they know it's like it happens all the time, I think they, they would they wouldn't really do it. But who would I ask? I don't know, maybe my friend Juji would do it. <laughs> Juji. <laughs> Juji Wufu. He would be crazy enough to wipe my ass with his, with his own hand. <laughs> or maybe if they, maybe use one of his piece of hair, cut it and do it. Juji <laughs> call out. Juji Mufu. <laughs> From TrixTutorials.com. Wiping my ass. <laughs> Next. Um, Ricky B wants to know where is Sergeant Fuckface. <laughs> That's an old video that I did. I was alone in my garage and I was bored and. I think I don't remember quite. I don't remember quite correctly. I think it was, it was me like dressed up as a sergeant and telling my other self to lift weights or something and throwing fake grenades and I don't know. The memory is pretty uh, fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he is. I don't know. He's been MIA. He's in action. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The next question. Next question. It's a lot of questions. Okay, just two more. Two more questions. Two more questions. Um, stereo versus circus, Montreal. Which which one do you like better? Um, in the past, where I really went when to go, I, re I really had a lot more fun at circus. But right now, I would not go there by myself like that. I don't do it. I don't go anymore. Unless my girlfriend's working at circus sometimes, because she probably she spins like once a month there, usually. I would go. I I go there, and you know, I go there sober and clean. I drink a Red Bull, and I I, I usually take a nap, wake up, go driver there, take a nap, wake up, and maybe like go for the la the last part of the set. But circus overall is better. You know why it's better? Because they have fans. They have fans over there. So, 
because when I dance, I get really sweaty. And then, you know, the fans are godsend <laughs> in that place. Circus wins. Circus wins. <laughs> Swartz a Ginger says, what's your favorite Disney movie? It's a great name. Hmm. <laughs> Swartz the Ginger. Swartz the Ginger. Who's a, who's like a, a ginger Jew, huh? A ginger Schwarzenegger. Schwartz, oh, Schwartz, okay. <laughs> ginger Schwartz. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, favorite Disney movie? Hmm. I think, I think Lion King is good. The Lion King? I didn't, I didn't see it like so long, was it forever? But I know it's a good movie. Aladdin, I, I remember Aladdin being cool. But I think Lion King is better. Cause, cause it's like the bad lion, you know? Scar. Yeah. And then there's like Mustafa, the king lion. And then it's like, oh, fine. And then, then he, he drifts away in the jungle. And this is like a, the, the, the pig and the other thing. What's their names? And they sing, Akuna Matata, they sing that. I don't, I don't remember much of the movie, but I remember some parts <laughs> of it. Simone and Pumba. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pig. <laughs> and uh, there's a baboon there. You know? Rafiki. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. He's nothing like real baboons in real life. No. Baboons in real life are savages. They're awful. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good movie, Lion King. I guess that was because of a Leo. I like, I like it too. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Leo's for the win. Yeah. So that's it. That's all the questions. That's it. Wow. Well, I hope you uh, you enjoyed this like uh, pointless Q and A with the least frequently asked questions ever to me. And uh, it's so warm in here. I'm glad this is over, so I can put the fan back. But uh, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> straight to my channel and yeah that's all you gotta do I guess like it or something I don't share okay stop stop the video